And we are back here at the Baguio Country Club, the first and only five-star mountain resort in the Philippines. Now, during one of the pre-pageant sessions, our candidates, along with Miss Universe 2019, Zozobini Tunzi, she actually imparted on them that this is an opportunity of a lifetime. As you journey through this, find what it is that makes you who you are. Well, in a few minutes, we're actually going to have a better idea of who our top 16 finalists truly are when they get a chance to speak from their hearts and minds. And we would like to emphasize that they are also allowed to communicate in any language or dialect that they feel comfortable within, whether it's English, Filipino, or their own local dialect. We have interpreters on standby for that. So this is a crucial round of the competition. I will read the topic. You have 30 seconds to speak. When you hear this chime, you must immediately stop and I will call on the next finalist. Why don't we go ahead and let's begin with our first finalist from Biliran. Hello, Skelly, how are you? Hello, Casey, I feel great today. Do you feel great? Over 300,000 people voted for you. How does that make you feel? I really feel overwhelmed and I really didn't expect it to be that much. And I'm so happy and I want to thank everyone who voted for me. Thank you so much. So here we go with your first topic. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. As a beauty queen, I know that I can be greater because we are a voice, a spokesperson to others. And as, as I stand in here, I know that I can really inspire someone, even just one person. And I know that that person can be greater, just like me, because I am standing here representing my province with pride. And I know someone will be inspired by the things that I do. And they will also do the same in the near future. And they will be greater also. Also, thank you. Thank you very much, Skelly. All right, here we go now with our second contender. Hello there, uh, Miss Albay. It says here that you love babies, dogs, and dancing. Correct. Which one do you love the most? Why do you have to choose? I'll choose all three. Okay, that mm -hmm. works for me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, topic. It's not a question. You get 30 seconds to answer this or uh, give your comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Well, to do that, I was, it was about finding myself, to know, to know what I want to do in my life, to find my core values, and then from there, instill it to other people, to make them passionate, to know what you want to do in your life in order to become greater, to become phenomenal for the universe. Thank you so much, Miss Albay. All right, our next contender is Miss Bohol. How are you de doing, uh, Pauline? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Uh, oh, no one ever asked me questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I not have done that? It's okay. So I'll go ahead and read what you're supposed to comment on instead. All right, you have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. I can be a positive and lasting impact by being a role model, by embodying what it means to me to be greater. It is a constant struggle, it is a constant commitment to always work on being stronger, embracing my vulnerabilities, and knowing that I am the perfect version of my imperfect self and empowering and enabling other girls, everyone, to feel the same way. Because we are greater in our own rights. Thank you so much, Miss Bohol, Pauline Amalinx. All right, now we have Miss Aklan, Christelle Abelio. It says here that you have competed internationally in sports. What sport is that? Basketball and volleyball. Uh, what position? I played outside hitter for volleyball, and then for basketball I played, um, uh, <laughs> sorry. And then for basketball, I played um, th third point. I played bench. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't play basketball. I'm not very good at it. Okay. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. Throughout my journey, I have, gr just like my sisters and I, we have all grown into the phenomenal woman that we are today. And I believe that with this journey and through this pageant, that we have all grown to really 
um, to believe in ourselves and to have the confidence to really extend ourselves, not just in, for our community, but for the rest of the universe. And I believe that in order to make an impact to the rest of the universe, it is our responsibility to use our platform and to use our influence. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Aklan Cristel Abelio. All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heartfelt beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Ula City, Rabia Mateo. All right, next up we have Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. How are you, Tracy? I'm feeling excited. Thank All you right. so much for this opportunity. It says here that you like flip top culture, like the hip hop rap battle thing. Yes, that's absolutely it. You ready to battle? Let's do it. Let's let's don't do it. Let's let's not. Let's not. Let's, let's not, not do it. Okay, I get it. Not that. a good idea for me. Okay, so here is your uh, comment, please. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have thirty seconds. In order for me to be able to create a positive and lasting impact to the world. I would always use my experiences because that is the best possible way in order for me to be able to relate to people, to connect to people, relating with them through my experiences. I've lived a challenging life all throughout my life and I know that a lot of people all over the world will be able to personally relate to my story and if given this platform, I will be able to share that story to the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Cebu City, Tracy Marine Perez. All right, our next contender is Miss Davao City, Eliza Flor Malinao, and uh, she actually represented the Philippines in Asia's Next Top Model before, yes? Yes. So how does it feel being on the stage again here? Um, excited. Okay. Uh, just like Ate Teresa Licar said, I'm happy to be asked. Okay. All right, so uh, your question that we need a uh, comment on is this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Nag-appeal ko diri sa pageant na gusto na ko ipakita ang tinuod na ako. Um, expected diri sa pageant na you have to be prim and proper and you have to speak in English. And karon nga mag-story ako bisaya, gusto na ako na maghatag og way sa mga nasa probinsya na kailangan nila mag-speak up para madungog sila maski unsang yung buhay ang ilahang gamiton. Lalo na karon na kailangan nato tabangan ng mga babae sa maski asang lugar. Kayo, maybe na sila sa ilahang balay karon o kailangan nila og tabang, kailangan nato sila madungog ang lingwahe ihatag nato sa ilaha. Next up, Miss Cavite, Kimberly Billy Hackinson. Hello. Hi, good evening, Casey. Hi, you know what? Of everyone who has come here on stage, there's only one person who has shorter hair than you. That's me, by the way. Yeah. Are you cold? I'll get there. Oh, are you cold, <laughs> maybe? It's freezing. Yes. All right. So warm everyone up with this answer. Oh, nice. Bad joke. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was a survivor of gender-based abuse. And without knowing it, maybe, so are you. And I am not here to just be a voice. I am here to amplify voices. Because we will not be silenced by fear anymore. We are here to be empowered by truth. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson. And now we have Cebu Province, April Smith. We'll go straight to the question. Throughout this journey, 
you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. How can I give impact lasting in this world time now? I simply don't stop about my purpose because I myself is a positive person and I will continue my purpose and uplift each other and up to be beyond phenomenal to the other people. And I will continue to aspire many young little April Smith to continue their dreams and to achieve their goals in life because they can be beyond phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cebu Province, April Smith. All right, next we have Miss Misamis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. Here is the statement. We need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I have always believed in the power of storytelling. I believe that we can be greater during this time when we share stories that inspires, that empowers, and encourages. Because when we share stories, we know better. And when we know better, we do better. And by that, we become greater. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Amis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. All right, here we go. Mandawe City, Lou Dominic Pixon. Here is the statement. We need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is greater, uh, conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. If there's something that I learned during the pandemic, it's time is constant and there's nothing that you can do once you've already done the things that you can do today. One thing that I learned through all my life that my parents have also portrayed of me is that you can never Unless you go beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. This is something that we should take into account if we were to be conditioned for greater. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Mandawe City, Lou Pixon. All right, next up, Miss Tagig, Sandra Lemanon. All right, here is the comment. Please give us your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. My greatest contribution that I can give is speaking about mental health. I've been through a lot in my life and a lot of struggles. I deal with depression, anxiety, and abuse. And what I want to say to anyone who's ever dealt with this is that don't be ashamed about it. Don't hide. Please share because we need to hear these stories. We need to um, communicate together, have open communication in our households. And that's how I'm going to contribute as a phenomenal woman. I want to be authentic and truly myself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Tagig, Sandra Lemanon. All right, here we go with Ms. Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. We need your comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. The volleyball court was the first ever stage I walked on. And uh, I know that God is using me to share my passion for the sport to the younger generation. This is how I know that I am phenomenal and conditioned for greater. Because I want to instill in the youth qualities like faith, passion, hard work, and discipline. Because I stand here today as proof that these can help you achieve your dreams. And I'm here to tell you to fight and never give up and be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. All right, now we move to Miss Romblon, Marie Faye Taharan. All right, here is your statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was born and raised in a small town of Calatrava, Romblon, where life is simple and happy. But this global pandemic changed everything. It created chaos and lost millions of lives. But we Filipinos are resilient. And that was I'm very proud of. And that is why I want to encourage everyone to keep continuing the Bayanihan spirit. Because that what makes us Filipino. And I'm proud to say I am Filipino. 
Thank you so much, Ms. Romblon. All right, moving on to Ms. Pasig City, Rihanna Pangindian. Here is the statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. Being a Filipina and being a candidate of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, I have went through a lot of challenges that shaped me to be who I am today. And I stand here representing everyone who has been overlooked and underestimated. I believe that everyone, is, everyone can be conditioned for greater if they believe in themselves and keep the faith. And as I win this, uh, as I hopefully win this year, Thank you so much. Round of applause for Miss Pasig City. All right, we are now down to our last contender of our top 16, Miss Paraniake. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. One of the things that I've learned that is valuable is actually staying true to yourself and being as authentic as you can be no matter where you are. And that's something I learned as I went on in this journey. And I'm very thankful that I've been able to re realize that. I'm thankful that I am who I am today. I am thankful that I am able to show you all exactly who I am. And I can't wait to continue doing that and hopefully inspire more people to be themselves as well. Be proud of who you are and that's the most that you can do for everybody and for yourself. Thank you so much. Round of applause, Miss Paraniake Maria Isabella Ismael. There you have it, our top six.